Hey Lipsters, so today I will be cooking again. You know your girl's always hungry, so let's see what I'll be cooking today. All right, Lipsters, can you guess what I'm making today? I am making ground turkey meatloaf, a healthier option. So I got my ground turkey. I got my eggs. I had some bread, um, oatmeal. I also have Worcestershire sauce and barbecue sauce. Yes, sweet braise. Okay. Now, let's get started with the meat. I'm gonna open up the package. Now let's get this camera right. Open up the meatloaf. I have my bowl ready to put this all in to incorporate it all together. Got the meatloaf. I'm going to start off with two large brown eggs. And eggs help to bind the meatloaf together. We'll start off with just two. Y'all know I'm a clean freak, so I gotta wash my hands pretty often. Put some um, oatmeal up in there. That also helps bind it together. I don't know, it's something that my mom always did, so I do it too. Um, I have some bread um, left over from my little bougie sandwiches. If you haven't, go and check out my um, video from yesterday. I made some bougie sandwiches for um, my adult picnic that my girl and I um, had. It was so much fun. We are definitely gonna do another one. So putting that bread up in there. Making that real nice. Okay. I'm going to add Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Such a interesting name. <laughs> Sweet baby rays. Yeah, there's some good stuff right here. Okay. Some people like to use ketchup. I like to use barbecue sauce. All right. So I have onion salt. Oh, I preheated my oven to 350. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Evan, for the reminder. All right, I am also going to use nature seasoning. This stuff is so good, y'all. Thank you, Sade, for telling me about the seasoning. I use it on everything. Um, I have some adobo. Uh, one of my roommates in college was, I think it was Peruvian. And I mean, I love their seasonings. Let's go down the aisle store they got all the seasonings um i'm going to do a little bit of black pepper make sure i open the right side because sometimes <laughs> the side that just opens like that i'll be doing that a lot i gotta make sure it's this side yeah i ain't trying to have some peppery <laughs> no nah, that ain't gonna be cool I'll also do some parsley flakes. Oh, open the wrong side again. I don't know why I like to just put that side up. Like, mm -mm, ain't nobody got time for that. And then I will use a little bit of this vegan chickenless seasoning. Something that was recommended by Black Girl and Trader Joe's. Test that all out. Then I will go ahead and that all together. Let's see if it all binds. Stir, 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 stir. You guys let me know how you guys make your meatloaf. Um, I would love to hear. Oh, I forgot that I want some onion and bell pepper in it too. <laughs> I love me some onions, so let me get that out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my 
red onion. Go ahead and dice that up. And you guys let me know how to cut onion without searing up because the girl ain't good at it. And chopping. I need to learn how to do better with chopping because <laughs> it's taking me forever to chop up stuff. I'm gonna use probably about a fourth of an onion, red onion in that. I feel like red onion has more flavor than white onion, so I want that good flavor of onion in there. Continue to dice that up. Do y'all have any of those like choppers that chops it all up at one time? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. So I could save my time and cutting stuff up and not having to tear up and gray, gray. All right. So I finished up chopping the onion. Now I am going to chop up some bell pepper, some green bell pepper. It doesn't really matter what color you use, but um, I just always get green for some reason. Mm. Maybe green means money. Money, money, money. Okay. And I usually freeze my um, bell pepper because I never <laughs> use it fast enough. So these are frozen and they're already kind of like um, diced up. So. All right, finish with that. And now I gotta wash my hands. So, how have you guys' days been going? All right, put that all up in here. Give that a nice stir. Need some more oatmeal to help bind. And also, I'm gonna add a little bit more barbecue sauce. Look kind of dry. Nobody want no dry. Meat one. Okay. All right. So that's sticking really good. Okay. So all that is mixed together really nicely. Let me show you how that looks. How you want it to look all incorporate it together and then i will put in the pan all right i got my little meatloaf pan or bread loaf pan i don't know i took it from my mama she don't tell her okay i'm going to use some avocado oil spray so it doesn't stick to the pan from the um, red onion and the bell pepper. Okay, that looks like that's in there really good. Wash my hands. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave it uncovered. There it goes in the oven all right okay and I put the timer on for one hour and about 10 minutes till I will um, put some barbecue sauce on the top to give it like a little nice glaze and what should I do for an hour y'all hmm mm. 
I'm on New Omega's side out today. My 10 year anniversary shirt. Oh, thank you, Erica, for my water bottle. This is so cute. This is my favorite gift. 10 years of swan. <laughs> Love it. Shout out to New Omega Size Sorority Incorporated. New Sai. All right. So, what should I make with the meatloaf? Let me find something in the fridge real quick. Be right back. All right. I found some stuff in my refrigerator some broccoli, some mushroom risotto garlic knot and some potatoes so let's get all that together all right i'm going to wash off the potatoes and put them in a pan here let me spray it first i'm going to spray with that avocado oil at the bottom Wash these and put it in the pan. Let's see if I can bring this over here with me. All right, switching up sides here. Trading places, as Usher would say. Hey, y'all know I love Usher. My baby right now. <laughs> y'all should tag Usher in this video. <laughs> you be like, who is this? I don't know this girl. It's your girl. Liv. So yeah, I need to change my um, YouTube name because I have heard that people are having a hard time finding me um, because there are other people with my name. So drop in the comments, let me know what do you think my YouTube name should be because I don't know, no idea. <laughs> I know I gotta change it. These potatoes are so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're like little red and white potatoes. Just so adorable. They've already been cleaned pretty well. But, you know, you can never be too safe. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me show you how they look. Oh, it kind of makes like a heart shape. Oh, I love my lipsters. Thanks for joining. Okay. In that pan, I am going to um, just season lightly with some um, Himalayan salt. And some black pepper. Make sure I got it on the right side. <laughs> we don't need no peppery potatoes. The potatoes with pepper. Nah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Maybe I'll do some nature seasoning too, you know. Okay. I'm going to make sure all that seasoning is in there by the spring and all. Oh. I'm going to pop that in the oven too, right below the meatloaf. get these um this broccoli ready so this is a lot of broccoli probably gonna like cook one of them and then save the other one this is bigger than i thought look how pretty little tree okay i'm gonna rinse it off ranch rinse it off choking on my broccoli. And 
love broccoli. It's one of my favorite vegetables. <clears throat> what is you guys' favorite um, vegetable? I eat it every every day, everything. But I love a good salmon and broccoli, broccoli salad. Yeah. Ooh. I usually buy my broccoli um, frozen, but when I went to the store, I didn't see any frozen broccoli, so. And these are on sale. You know, your girl likes to save money. Okay. All right, so that's the bottom of the tree. I'm gonna toss that. Then I'm going to take the rest of that broccoli, throw it in this pan, and put some water in it. You only need a little bit of water because broccoli has a lot of water in it. that boil up. Okay. Throw some butter in there. A lot of butter, I should say. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like some butter. Yeah. A little bit more. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell my doctor. Okay, and then I'm going to season the broccoli with some adobo. With some nature seasoning. Onion salts. Oh man, I should have did lemon pepper broccoli. I'll do that the next time. All right, let that get all cooked down. And put these seasonings back up. Y'all, I'm like so OCD about my seasoning. Like, I have it all perfectly arranged where I like it. Cause I need to know where my seasonings are. I could close my eyes and grab my seasoning because I know where it is. So if somebody comes in here and mess up my stuff, I know, I know someone's been in here moving it around. Not okay. Not okay with me. Um, I will be making the garlic knots a little bit closer to when um, I eat. Up. I think this is actually my first time cooking broccoli like this. Hey, okay, there's a first for everything. Maybe I just won't buy frozen broccoli anymore. But then I hear never say never, so. rice so <laughs> I'll be burning up my um, rice my best investment was a rice cooker y'all I love it it's amazing go and get you one I got mine from um... <laughs> Ooh. I found mine from um, Goodwill and it works wonders I wonder if I could do that in there I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it in my rice cooker because I am not going to be experimental today with this. I don't want to mess this up. All right, got my rice cooker. 
rice cooker going. I put two and a half cups of cold unsalted water in the bowl. I'm going to pour in the risotto. What? What am I that? Oh, okay. Um, just making sure there ain't no um, cheese in here, cause baby, <laughs> cheese is not my friend. No, ma'am. All right, let me stir that together. All right, let me let you see it. Broccoli cooked down to this little bit. Hey, like, that's crazy. Come on. Give it a little taste test. Let's see how it tastes. Get a little bit. Oh, that's hot. There we go. Now, 37 more minutes to this meatloaf is done.